I don't like the idea of like uh, the. I uh, like I know someone, for example, and they were married and now and they have kids together and now they've broke up or whatever, or divorced, and um, he's gone to like start another family. Mm-hmm. And I understand it because of his age, but I think that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't. Maybe if the future that, cause, wife, cause, maybe that will determine. How, I wouldn't get how, mad again. I wouldn't get mad. Oh, again. That's how I, I kind of. That's how I kind of look at the Nick Cannon thing mm. because you think, all right, yeah, twelve is a bit extreme or whatever, and obviously mm. he's got like his health underlying conditions which might play a, a, a part into it. Yeah, part into it. But if you it were in a situation and you gave you all, you got married, you done it the right way, X, Y, and Z, and you still and you got it just didn't work out. Mm. Yeah, while you were still young. Mm-hmm. And then you get with someone new love of your life, and you thought cool, and she ain't got no kids, and she wanted kids. You that you know what I mean? It can happen mm-hmm. like that. You can go the whole way. So unless but that means he's doing it purely yeah, for her, I was just about and to that's say. even worse. Because yeah, then oh, uh, you're doing it purely for somebody else. You don't want it. That's no different that's to having an abortion. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you be against the kids? But Nick if Cannon, don't you think it's weird that he's just submitting to every woman you, know, you get you dates? Do you know, you know what would be interesting? I'm just thinking. It would be interesting to see because I would imagine what most of the one parent household data is like one parent isn't involved in their lives. So it'd be really interesting to see what the data would say for like, because I think Nick Cannon is involved in all of his kids' Mm. lives. So it would just be interesting. Mm. Yeah, I I wouldn't recommend that, you know, but again, I just have a hard time telling the world how to be. And throughout all of history, it's been multiple women for a small select group of men so i just i'm not one to tell the world how to be it just yeah. is what it is i wonder how mariah carey feels about his behaviors because she's like I, I don't understand why people will say that it's like like respectfully it's none of her business but it's kind just of, a, 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 a we is can't it deny of she is? yeah you can't deny kids. her status and then being associated with a bunch of baby mamas it must be feeling away like she went from him to a billionaire that she was engaged and he went from her to a bunch of baby mamas but i just, don't think it's the got game, much it's to just do with the game. Yeah. Did, she get, did she get married no I think they did she no she ended up marrying getting with her dancer her backup dancer or something uh, like that yeah I think oh, so it's, 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 yeah. she's fallen off anyway. wow that's interesting yeah. it's, it's the same yeah, so same wait, thing. so Funny. she got engaged to the to billionaire. billionaire and then she cheated with a background dancer oh my wow. so like Giselle that's a cycle yeah, yeah, yeah the it's cycle's a, a real thing isn't when, it when are we going to stop looking up to like celebrity couples yeah, yeah. please but the point, when the they point, stop influencing no, us no the, the mm, point is that celebrity couples show what goes on in the real in real society because when you see like okay let's take let's take Johnny up and amber heard mm. Mm. you know you could say oh that's a celebrity couple that's toxic but if that happened to a money with a man with power money and status what happens to the average guy mm-hmm. like maybe the guy getting cheated on maybe he just makes 80k a year 70k a year like he doesn't have as, mu- have as much money but the point is like the girl will still cheat with your with her personal trainer and hit, and hit <laughs> like and hitting i think that was good it highlighted how many women hit men yeah yeah the hitting was really bad in that mm. yeah yeah no, you know, and the other thing is, he can only defend himself because of who he is. Yeah, that happens, like you're saying, to everyday guys. Yeah, that's yeah. Like I've had, I've done so many interviews with people mm. where it's like, the girl abused me for like, oh my gosh, I had this one guy. It was so sad. He told me this story where this girl was abusing him for years, and like nobody believed him. Oh. And then it was like he finally left, and then he was the bad guy. Yeah. Like his whole friend group like painted him out to be yeah. the, the worst person ever. Madness. Yeah. And I, I had another guy. He, she was abusing him, he, like, um, and then she left and took half and took the kids. It's so horrible. Oh. That can happen even when she cheats, though. It yeah. Can happen even when she cheats. And then I guess women, like women, will always say, "Why did she cheat? What do you mean? Why did she cheat?" Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> you know, hearing, hearing all this, yeah. Anyone who's single is probably just thinking, "Fuck relationships, bro." Right? No, <laughs> exactly. that's why. Yeah. That's why I'm against the division side yeah. of things because it puts people off. And really, if you want a good society, we should actually teach people how to be good with each other rather than point out the. Flaws I mean, I just think other. that's the feminine point of view, but it's like from. <sighs> Like guys have had to see media saying men are trash for years. Mm-hmm. And then it's like whenever we have a conversation about what the women are doing, the women have to come in and say, oh, but it's not all women, but this, this, this and this. Like, what about men? What about men? But it's like we've had the conversation about men for mm-hmm. years. I mean, we had I don't got no scrubs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that was on that was a front I know, but we also had I get bitches in the club and this, that, and the other, and we've what had that. Sean Paul Rivers. I mean, no, but I think that's a, <laughs> it, 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 you know, you know, that's a little disingenuous though, because you know it's not the same. You yeah. know, you know, it's slanted I, I'm towards not the women. A feminist. I'm not like a oh anti men or anything like that, but I am anti both red pill and feminism. When did feminism. being a feminist become being anti men? Because it is synonymous. Because it's it's so almost synonymous. I mean, red pill, red pill is just the study of human behavior. Red pill is anti women though. It's not. 
anti-woman. Because even if it's I, if, if, you, if you read the comments left by Red Pill Men, it can never be a rational debate. It will never be like I disagree with this. It's like tell her where's her makeup from, where's her, and it's like so angry. Where you can't have rational conversations with Red Pill Men. You can, I'll watch these comments today. I, and I, have, be I mean, really I mean, I think that sounds, that, sounds, that sounds like a you problem because yeah. I have rational conversations. But you're with, on the I Red have, Pill side. I have that's rational why. conversations with Red Pill Men, and if they were anti-misogynist, no, stop interrupting yeah. me. Stop interrupting me. Yeah. And if they were anti-misogynistic, then I would have an issue. But they're not. But you, you say that you speak their language. Very few no. men will say, "Pearl, where's your ring?" Very few men will say, "Well, they Pearl do it all the time." What are you talking about? But I, if I, I, a feminist I, does it, wrong, wrong, wrong. I was just on an interview. Yeah. I was grilled by? for two hours straight by a freaking blue pill beta sin. I'm no, talking about red pill. No, no, I'm no, talking about red pill. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen to me. Yeah. What I'm saying. I've had conversations with red pill guy, anti marriage guy, anti this, 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 this guy. Never had an issue. The only issue I've ever had and and got grilled on this that stuff was by a blue pill dude. Exactly what my point is. Red pill men will never come for you because you speak their language. But if you try and tell them rational debates and give them logical answers that aren't regurgitated Kevin Samuel videos or anything, they'll come for you. It, they really will. And that's, that's what, not it's not true constructive. Because, that's not true because when I started, I wasn't red pill. Mm -hmm. I have two, you I have, identify I have, red pill I have, I have two years. Mm -hmm. I, have, I, I have two years worth of videos. Mm -hmm. The first time I watched Kevin Samuel's, I did not say nice things about. I was not a fan, mm -hmm. and I, I never had issues with misogyny. Mm -hmm. I never had issues with me, like women haters. Mm -hmm. I just said the only thing that they they debate is ideas. I but, mean, they, I mean, they might troll you a little bit, if anything. But you won't experience it because you don't speak no, an no, opposite no, no, language. But, but to you, them. you're not listening to what I'm mm -hmm. saying. When I started on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I did not agree with everything. Mm -hmm. I had many. I, and as how many I followers said, did you have then I compared said, to now? 20,000. Mm -hmm. 20,000. And now you're on... I have more now. What's your point? 000. What's your point? But you, you keep moving the goalposts yeah. because you said you speak their language. I said when I didn't speak their language, I had no issue. So it's a you problem mm -hmm. because even even when I when I did not speak their language, I had no issues. Uh, well, I can speak from my experience. When I say any video that agrees with men, like if I say women shouldn't dress like this or feminism is this, mm -hmm. I'll get the men raving, reposting. The moment you call them out and say, no, no, also men need to do this just to create a rational, balanced dialogue. Mm -hmm. They turn into the male equivalent of feminists, where they lose all their rationality and become emotional, and they'll start making personal remarks. Mm. The exact same thing they accuse women of doing. They go to being personal when they don't have a log logical I mean, argument. Does the comment section roast no, you no, sometimes? It does, yeah, like... yeah, but it doesn't bother me that they roast me. They can say whatever they want. But uh, the reality is, it only happens when I don't talk their language, and they have uh, display the same emotional dysregulation as the feminists they claim to hate. The feminists that say I hate women, men, all men are trash. The red pill men, when you don't speak their language, it displays the exact level of femininity, irrationality, and personal remarks that we are always told that women do. I mean, I just think it's silly to go on the internet and not expect to get bad comments. No, like, like so, so I, on both sides, yeah. on both sides. So it's like, did you get hate comments? Does that does that mean the whole red pill movement? When I've when I I'm the one who knows all of the people that lead the space. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's met them. You're you're basing your experience off of the comment section. No, I'm basing it off the red pill community that i see and what right, i find they, okay have you met any of them in person any, you, any yeah, other yeah. than me other, other than, than me uh, well most and you've of come and you me. you came back yeah. so so no i love been that this bad. platform yeah. i really yeah, do yeah. love so, it so so i'm saying with the red pill men mm. that you that you're talking about mm. have you met any yeah, I've met any, Red Pill Men. Any, any, any content creators? No, uh, content creators. I've okay. been in contact with a few but online okay. and stuff, but not in person because okay. they're usually American. Okay, so mm. so you haven't even dealt with them and you're mm. making an assumption about them. But I can make an assumption based on, my, like you haven't dealt with feminists or whales or something, but you what can make you, an assumption you, because they come I, for you, right? Uh, I can make an assumption based on the ones I've talked to in real life where I was attacked. But I've <laughs> never I've never communicated with feminists, but I've had feminists contact my workplace mm. and then try and get me fired. Mm. I've had feminists that have come for my parents photo, phone numbers and address so I can make an assumption on them even though I haven't met them in real mm -hmm. time because I live You've it never in. met a feminist? Not I'm a feminist yeah. so you met me and yeah but I could still make assumptions on the extremities of both red pill and feminism because I experience both of them in mm -hmm. real life mm -hmm. but I've had my job contacted mm -hmm. I've had my boss call me in and say this we've been sent this I've had feminist posts repost my but videos that sounds and say, like a crazy person yeah, rather but, than like a person that has but an the extremities idea about the world. In, on each end are as bad as each other 
It's as yeah. bad as each other. Red pill men are the male equivalent of feminists when they go to that extreme. Because what happens with both of them is that they forget to incorporate their own experiences and they just have this mindset of hate and anger and they're not even listening to the argument. They just want to show, say, you're a woman. Don't ask a woman what a man needs. Don't ask a woman about alpha. No, no, no. What? Speak rationally. Mm. Have a rational discourse. What, what, uh, well, I mean, the the point they're making about don't ask a woman like what you're talking about dating advice. General, like you can't ask a woman what an alpha is. Can't ask a man what a high value. Is. Well, you can't mm -hmm. ask a woman this. What what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You can ask humans what humans do. Yeah, I mean, you you can ask, but it, I, usually they talk about dating advice. Mm -hmm. Like, don't take dating advice from women. It's mm -hmm. like, are you asking the fishermen? That that's usually what they're talking but about. The, but then, wouldn't that also apply? Then, don't ask men for men advice because you don't ask the fish. Like, wouldn't that be don't ask men for men about for advice about men? Well, see, I, no, because men have had to listen to what women have to say for years. Mm -hmm. Women don't have to listen to what men have to say. That's why it's so triggering a lot of times when I say things on this podcast, like men know what we want because they've had to listen to us for the last 20, 30 years. Mm. But I, I think... I'll, I'll be honest. Um, can we define like red pill and blue pill? Because I mean, I'm just thinking like ibuprofen like... and Viagra. <laughs> 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 and I have no idea. I've been lost. Like, what the okay. definition is. Do we have a definition it sounds like um, people that... Do you know, do you remember menism? It sounds like it's that versus feminism. Is it? Is that right? Is that? Is that? No, I mean, red pill is a praxeology. It's a study of human behavior. That's what it is. Okay. okay. But what is it Same in the real world? Because like, like, feminism yeah, yeah, is know. equal rights, but really in the real okay, world, feminism yeah. how, is how, a nightmare. How, how, is the ma how are the masses perceiving yeah. red pill? How is, how is it in real time? What do you I'm mean asking. in real like, time? So I'm saying... Is this based off the Matrix, red pill, pill, pill? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. Oh, I kind of get it. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, I ain't seen it. You ain't uh, seen the Matrix. So dead. Have, it's so uh, shit. Everybody loves it. What, 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 I haven't what, seen what, the Matrix. What, haven't haven't watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, no kids about Game But of how does the study of like human behavior correlate to to the like this topic? As in, like, how does it apply to dating and advice and all of that? What's the dynamic there? How does it apply to date? Well, so like, gosh, there's so much that goes into it, but it's just like women. So for example, they, they study women, like, and why women do the things they do. So like women look for different things at different ages. So like, for example, women, one thing they talk about is a woman's sexual market value. So like when she's at her highest and what she would look for when she's the most attractive to men. So for example, women in their early twenties tend to look for looks while women in their late twenties to thirties tend to look for security. And that, so they would say, like, these are the examples. And yeah. yeah so then and then how, study. Uh, what, what makes some of them so triggered where they just spew out hate and to any woman that has an opinion? I don't know any content creators that do that. Um, I can't help the comment section. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people like, uh, I, I think the difference. But I know between, some I think, content creators like Fresh and Fit, I would say. Marlon, I would say is very angry. The when he speaks. Yeah. No, um, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't think so, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he just, if, people don't like his tone, and I think women mm -hmm. have an issue with his tone, but no, I, I don't think he hates women by any means. Does he come across as somebody who has successful relationships with women and can have a marriage and a stable relationship with women? Yeah, I think he could. I don't mm -hmm. think he comes across as Yeah, that. I mean, I would disagree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't think they hate women. Um, no, I don't think that. You don't think he insults the uh, like the women's mindset in general or anything like that. I don't personally look can at somebody I, can like Can I have Marlon. a specific example? Of like something just he how said? he speaks to women in general. No, not I, how, I, not I mean, how he speaks, what he says. So he might say something like, um, well, you're 20, once a woman's more than 25, she's got no value. And if you haven't got a ring, you haven't got an opinion. Women can't define high value. Women can't define alpha men. Women don't have, uh, can't solve any of men's problems. Okay. Men, women can't okay, provide me, any value start, to a high value man. Let me start yeah. with the, the 20, because like, yeah. you, you're giving me a bunch. So yeah. what was the first one you said 20? Women over 25. Yeah, they have no value. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's misogynistic. But no every, value. Every age has a cutoff. Mm -hmm. So every guy is a, like, every guy has a so cutoff. So your mom has no value. And, my and mom the, has no value. And the, yeah, I, I've talked to my mom about this in the sexual marketplace. No, nah, good yeah. luck. My mom on the dating scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You're telling me my mom, oh, like, God. I love I love you, mom. <laughs> I love you. He's talking about, not, it's not, not personal words. Yeah. It's sexual market value. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, t most guys will date a girl for 25 if mm -hmm. she looks good. True, true. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe he's pickier. He prefer girls under yeah. 25. The point is women under over the age of 25, typically we've had our heart bro hearts broken mm -hmm. and men have to deal with that. 
So it's easier to get with a younger girl who hasn't, who, like, hasn't had trauma. Uh, okay. Do you want, do you want a girl with more trauma or less trauma? Less Guy, trauma. Well, I didn't ask yeah. you, ask the men. More trauma or less trauma? Less trauma. More trauma or less trauma? Less trauma. More trauma. Less trauma. Okay. So, but, so, so this is, a, this yeah. is a, as women, we listen and say, I understand that mm. instead of trying to argue and tell you them what they want. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to be offended. It, is my mom going to do well on the dating market with se- 10 kids? No, I'm not on a dating market, <laughs> of course not. But I but don't really think, no, I, I didn't mean it in sexual. Yeah. I meant in general as a value as a person. But uh, I can speak for somebody when I was 21 and then going to 25. I genuinely think I did more reflection and became less traumatized as I was turned 25. I personally felt like I was far, I was so volatile at 21. I was so impulsive at 21. As I became older, I became less of a burden to a man. But we're not talking about you. We're oh, talking about in general. Humans. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah we're more emotional and no, volatile. I, I'm saying like in general, mm-hmm. we're not talking, like, he doesn't know your specific story. Yeah. So, but in, so, space, so if, yeah. if yeah. we're talking to the men and the men, like Andrew Tate, it said something similar. Oh, yeah. Women over the age of 25. 19, he and said. They're, and they're saying, no. 19, oof, 19. He, said. he gave the age of 19. <laughs> And he and if they're saying yeah. we prefer the women younger, yeah. like why why are we to tell them what they want? No, no, you can, I think it should be with a younger woman. I really do think younger is more uh-huh. beautiful, and especially when it comes to having kids. But it's also saying things like, "Oh, women can't define what makes a man. Women have no definition of what makes an alpha." Well, I think, alpha is I think, a, bi- think, a biological term. But a I think, but the, no, the point, the, no, the point they're making though is that like for a man to be alpha or to be high value, he has to be selected by other men first. Like mm-hmm. other men have to respect him yeah. first. Before before the women can come in, mm-hmm. and so that that's that's what they're talking about. It's and not what hating, makes it's a not... woman disqualified for realizing or not being able to make? Because you can look at a monkey and decide which one's alpha. You don't have well, to be no, a monkey. Other other men have other high value men have to recognize him as a part of the group. Mm-hmm. So, so, I mean, we're kind of interchanging high value and alpha, yeah. but, but when it comes to high value men, that's what they're talking about yeah. is so the other high value, do. the other, no, because the other high value men have to recognize him as part of the group. And can a low value man realize a high value man? I think most men, when they walk into a yeah. room, they yeah. can they can no, just naturally high tell. Value. There's, there's, a, there's yeah. a hierarchy. Yeah. There's definitely and, a hierarchy with and us. And women can tell as well. They can't. That's a cap. Yeah, we can tell when I someone's like high we, and low yeah, value. You, you think uh-huh. so? How, 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 can how, can tell how did they tell? How did they interact with how other did, guys? Yeah, ex- yeah. Like that. And then how did the Tinder swindler get so successful? 